Do you have any advice for young people struggling to discuss their mental health with their parents? Yes. What I would say to young people struggling with their mental health and how to discuss it with their parents would be to, first of all, understand what's going on for them. If they're struggling, they need to speak to somebody. And I want to say that maybe your parents may not be the best person to be talking to. So that also is an opportunity for you that your parents may not be the best adult in your life at the moment. So the most important thing is to talk to somebody. It could be a, 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 another adult. It could be somebody at school or even your GP, because your parents, if you feel your parents may not understand, they would understand taking you to the GP and you could speak to the GP and you would get that support from that angle until you get the support you need to then talk to your parents. It's important that you speak to somebody and your parents may not necessarily be the first people that come to mind. So that's, that's if you're finding it difficult to speak to your parents. But if, it's, if you haven't tried it and you think that the conversation needs to happen, then speak to your parents. If it's not going the way you want it to, then it's important that you speak to somebody else. Just don't leave it there because your parents are not responding the way you want them to. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, what are some healthy ways of coping with pressure from family? I know as an African parent, um, we want so much for our kids that we can want too much that they cannot handle. And being able to balance that is something that we need to teach the adults, but at the moment, if you're feeling too much pressure from your parents, you have to speak to somebody. Again, the GP is a good way to go. Um, an adult in your life that you can talk to is a good way to go. I know directly talking to your mother or your father um, may not be very easy for that to happen, especially if they don't want to know. They just want to see you do the work. And um, it can be quite challenging. So I understand that. And I know that um, I, I don't want you to get sick before something happens. So if your parents aren't listening, look for somebody who will listen. That's the most important thing. I think it's important that you know that you're still in charge of the things that needs to be done. So the things that are expected of you, yes, but you're still in charge of what you can do. So take responsibility for that. If your schoolwork is too much, then you know how to spread that out, how to make schoolwork easier for you. You know what works for you. So one coping skill is to first understand that there are certain things that you are in charge of and make that work for you. And don't try too hard to try to meet everybody's expectation of you because your teachers are expecting stuff from you. Your friends are expecting stuff from you and it can be too much. So see what you can do and manage yourself. And if you're challenged, speak to somebody. Um, would you have any tips for young people uh, struggling to discuss things like body image, sexual orientation or identity with their parents? These are very important issues. And if you're struggling with it, you need to find a space to talk about it. First of all, I want to say that you are who you are. That's the most important thing. If you can first accept that you don't have to fight with yourself for who you are, that's one huge battle that you have overcome. Talking to somebody else outside who would understand would then be the next step. So if you're struggling with body image, let's look for ways to first support yourself. If you can accept you for who you are, then the world would accept you. So it's not that you need them to accept you for you to accept yourself. Accept yourself first. Try to look for communities that are out there that would support you, help you support yourself first. Let the first thing you do not be 
I, am, I want to go tell somebody. I want somebody to know about it. Resolve it within you first. And I know depending on your age, it may not be that simple, but there are people out there that will give you the support you need. Now you can go online. You can make a phone call. Everyone has a phone. There are people you can reach out to. And I know that we want to talk to our parents. If our parents are not going to be supportive, maybe they should not be the first people we talk to. The next question is, how can a young person discuss not wanting to eat certain foods with their parents? That relates to maybe body image or maybe a certain dietary lifestyle. Yes, that can be a very challenging one because coming from an African background, we feel that we love with our food. We, we show affection to our kids by the food that we prepare for them. And we want them to eat heartily everything that we make. And if a child says, I don't want to eat it, it can feel like you are slighting me or disrespecting me or not wanting to do what I know is best for you. It's a tricky one, but I think we can overcome it by finding the right time and the right space to talk to your parents. You know, when your mom is in her best mood, bring it up. <laughs> Help her understand you and what, what you're trying to achieve. If, for example, you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to build your muscles or, you know, something just doesn't sit well with you, you saying, no, I'm not going to eat it. It's just going to make things worse. It's just going to aggravate things. And I know that's how you feel, but let's try to get our parents on our side. So look for a great time that your dad or your mom, whichever one you can really talk to, is in their best space, their best mood. If they don't understand what you're trying to do, then they, their actions might feel like they're going against you. So help them understand what you're trying to do and they will support you.